Hey, spiritual superstars. So our spiritual guidance for the week is reminding us to be okay with where God is sending us. So that may be spirit, Allah, Jehovah, the Most High. You, your spiritual beliefs may be in Krishna, Buddha. Your spiritual beliefs may be in the universe. You may not have any spiritual beliefs. So I'm going to ask you to look at the patterns. Look at the synchronicities. Look how things line up. And, um, and don't get caught up into whether you need to be following a religion, a religious, a religious umbrella, um, whether you need to believe in God a higher power, whatever your pattern is showing you, trust it. Because I'm going to ask you to go back to your past and see where you followed these signs. You followed messages. You followed symbols. You have followed and trusted your own intuition. So today when you're at work, when you're in your business, whether you are the CEO, CFO, Chief Human Resource Director, whether you are operations level, mid-level management supervisor, team leader, whoever you are out in the field, follow the signs and watch them lead you to your next position. Now, your position may be another role. It could be the next step in the same role that you're in. It could be pulling you towards starting your own business. It could be going back to the workplace in order to get more capital funding, get more money to fuel your business, okay? So you may be going for a next seed round in your investment um, capital process or, or venture capital process. Whatever it is, it will be revealed to you. That I can promise you. When you follow what I know to be spiritual guidance. Spiritual guidance is not under any specific religious umbrella. It is moving with the energies that present themselves to you that are centered on love, unity, values that you align with. So it's very specific to you. It is subjective. However, the beauty of it is it's objective. It is something we can trust as a conscious whole. Okay. And it's pretty remarkable. It's profound. And so whatever goals you have today, remember that you're going to be challenged. You will be challenged as you have in the past. And, but it's up to you to either accept that challenge or use your spirit of discernment and trust that this is not your fight and you will have dodged a bullet, if you will. You will have gone in another path that was really aligned for you to have an easier go. Does that mean that it's always simple? Um, to reach your goals, to be successful, absolutely not. Nor is it always true that you have to um, fight every step of the way. A challenge grows you, develops certain qualities within you that sometimes you never knew you had. And sometimes when you just accept that small challenge, it grows you so big that you can't quantify it. So many blessings to you, and I thank you for listening and tuning in. Subscribe to Anre V Consultants 1111 and to our other channel, Spiritual Guidance Academy. And that's so that we can help you get through your work and your personal life. Because at the end of the day, what matters is your happiness your health, and your well-being. And anyone that's a parent or you're a caregiver, those people are directly connected to your frequency. And so my mission is to really help you and at the same time, helping those you love, those you take care of. 
All right. Well, spiritual superstars, have a beautifully blessed day. Come back to this video and let me know what signs and, and um, synchronicity, synchronicities that you've received and any questions that you have. Now, thank you for allowing me to be a passenger on your spiritual journey.